The synchrotron radiation source at Darsby was the very first designated synchrotron radiation source in the world. There's almost not a branch of science now that has not been improved by the use of synchrotron radiation and Darsby was at the forefront. The impact of the SRS itself is now 70 synchrotrons worldwide and the majority of the techniques used was developed at Darsby. So it's had a massive impact across the world. So we're in the Discover section of the Revolution Manchester Gallery and the Discover section tells the story of how ideas in Manchester have transformed the way that we are able to understand the world. It's like the equipment that was used on Beamline 2.3 at the SRS. I came to Darsbury Laboratory nearly 36 years ago to work on the SRS accelerator. It actually used very strong beams of light from infrared through to very hard x-ray to actually look into matter. My job over many years, if you've got a detector, was to make sure that we had the right beam going right to the heart of where it should go. I've had a lifelong dream to be involved in science and technology. I found it very satisfying. I was meeting scientists who were producing fantastic chemistry, biology uh, work that benefited the UK. Uh, knowing, for instance, that the foot and mouth disease virus was first analysed and, and detailed on our machine at Darsbury. We were the first in the world. The fact that it's here in the Science and Industry Museum is brilliant. Science is everywhere and we should be very proud of things that we have been able to produce in the northwest of England. It's in the right place here. We're open seven days a week and it's free to enter. It's a, a really great opportunity to see some incredible objects and hear some incredible stories about the people that use them and had ideas that have helped change our lives. Visit our website, scienceandindustrymuseum.org.uk for more information about how to find us.